so hi all so welcome to the linux course and as a continuation of your previous session that is nothing but administrating remote system so in this particular session we are mainly going to discuss about the rsync command that what is rsync okay and how we can achieve this rsync command as a real time hands on in a production environment right guys so let's start with this rsync command what do you mean by this rsync so rsync is nothing but this is call it as a remote synchronization guys okay and rsync is one of the very good program for backing up or mirroring a directory you can say from one machine to another machine guys and for keeping the two machine in a sync it is designed to speed up the file transfer by copying the difference between two files rather than copying the entire file every time so till now you have seen what guys so till now if you if you go to this particular thing we have gone to scp command yes scp command is very useful for copying a data from one machine to another machine but the only difference between scp and sync uh, rsync command is that so let me note it down over here is that is r sync y n c okay so the only difference between scp and r sync is that means if you are copy by using scp okay so in case in between suppose the connection is lost so you need to again start the copy from the scratch but in case of r sync it is not like that guys so in case of r sync what you need to do is the process is suppose interrupted in between while you copy a file from one machine to another machine so the process will stop there only and the next time if you try to copy that one so it will start from where it's ended up guys it's not like that it's going to start from the scratch so this is why i am telling it telling here over is that Uh, if you are copy the files from one machine to another machine and keeping the two machine in sync it is designed to speed up the file transfer by copy the difference between two files rather than copying the entire file every time guys so just just take an example for for example assume that we are supposed to take the backup of a system correct so as of now you have seen right whatever things we have done guys if you see over here so we have taking the backup if you are taking a copy of a file from one machine to another machine means you have taken the backup so for example assume that we are supposed to take the backup of a system and copy the same file into the another system but the first time we will copy the entire directory but every day if you if we copy the entire directory it will kill kill lot of time correct every day we cannot do the same thing suppose in this particular directory what is that directory guys just try to understand this batch 7m so whichever files are there today and the next day again you have added another file into this particular directory okay so again and again every day you are going to copy the same thing to the destination location okay and it is not at all feasible from scratch right so that is what r sync is there guys so this is what i am telling now coming back to the point but every day if we copy the entire directory it will kill lot of our time so in such situation if r sync it is used it will only copy the updated file okay and the directory rather than copying all files or a directory inside the main directory guys okay and which is going to save a lot of time and speed up the transfer process this is why this is why i am uh, talking about that r sync is much better than any other command guys now now see over here just try to understand just come out of this one so as of now you are able to see which directory is there so batch 7 am is there now go to the destination location do a forward slash do a ls okay now i am going to remove batch 7 am from here as of now to make you understand practically so what is the real time hands on we are going to perform now in this rsync is copy a directory by using a rsync command okay and this is also going to use ssh only uh, protocol guys okay and we'll see the data is sync or not okay so as of now normally how we can copy by using rsync command so if you want to copy this directory which directory you want to copy so i am going to copy the directory call name called batch 7am okay guys so just run the command r sync okay 
it's very simple and easy guys okay and but this is more powerful hyphen r means you are copying a directory right hyphen v guys this is for the verbos okay and hyphen e now i'll explain you why i am using hyphen e option over here hyphen e if you don't want to use ssh just remove hyphen e but i want to make it ssh to make it the data secure okay so this is why i am using hyphen e option okay for this particular if you remove this one hyphen e the drawback of it is there will be no encryption will be there guys okay so might be chances your data will be hacked in between guys so what we are going to do hyphen e ssh and then what you want to copy you want to copy batch 7m right batch 7m and where you want to copy same thing okay the destination location you need to give it over here just give the if config and take the ip of this one okay now come back over here colon slash as a forward slash at the topmost level you want to copy it here now enter just try to understand this one so it's copied correct it's copied now you see something over here send 243292 to uh, 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 24329 uh, bytes received and it's giving you that data also total size of this one speed up is 0.88% now understand see go to this location just do a ls over here are you able to see all the files here just try to understand this guys what is the difference between scp and rsync uh, which i have explained okay go inside this batch 7 am enter and just do a ls over here so these many files are here correct yes or no correct now what i am going to do over here is i am going to inside this batch 7 am first okay and i am going to create one another file Take any file. Okay, what all those files are there? So here I am going to create a file called touch. Okay, gateway. Dot html. Okay, another file I am going to create here is that is anything you can say payment. Okay, dot html. These are the two new files, guys. Just see very carefully. And I am going to put some data also inside this file. That is gateway. Dot html. Okay, inside this file, what data I want to put it? So inside this one, I want to put it. This is a new file for rsync. Okay, now how we can put this one? I have already explained you. Enter. Now just cat this particular file. Okay, just try to understand. Okay, done. Now you run the same command. What command? Now you can see. We have files. What all files we have just now created? That is gateway.html and payment.html. Right, guys? Tell me yes or no. Now run the same command. Now you'll see what is the powerful. Why this rsync is so much of powerful? Run the same command. Enter. So you can see now. You can see the speed up is 6.22 percent. Why? Because it it doesn't copy the entire thing. It's only copy what it's if you go to this location, it's only copy this gateway and payment dot estimate guys. You are getting my point. So means it's not copy the entire thing again like SCP command. So it's copy only the that part which is modified, which is newly created into this source location under this batch 7 m guys. Are you getting my point clear? So this is how you can clearly see right and it's telling also you can see send this much how many bytes so earlier how many bytes it is sent you can understand from here only see the difference over here the first time which we have sent the bytes were sent as a 24329 bytes guys okay so you can understand from here right correct but the next time it sends how many bytes it is sent it is sent only 2584 bytes means only those two files not the entire files again so this is the biggest difference in the scp and rsync command and this is the interview question they are going to ask you in the linux in as a linux administrator guys this is the thing. okay so guys this is all about your uh, rsync command which we have performed okay and uh, we have discussed uh, in this particular section uh, scp also we have discussed okay and we have discussed rsync also so this is all about your administrating remote system guys.
thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt any query you can write it back to me i'll try to answer as early as possible